So today I'm going to talk about the PaO2 over the FiO2 ratio. And this is also called the PF ratio. So this is basically a measurement to assess how severe someone's respiratory status is. So it takes into account the partial pressure of oxygen, which is PaO2, divided that by the fraction of inspired oxygen. So uh, normal PaO2 is usually around 80 to 100 millimeters of mercury, and you might hear that differ a little bit. Um, and then fraction of inspired oxygen. So on room air, there's normally 21% oxygen. So this would be 0.21. Or if they're on some kind of oxygen supplement, that would be their fraction of inspired oxygen. And so to get this ratio, all we have to take is their PaO2 level divided by the fraction of inspired oxygen. So let's say um, we have someone who has a 90 PaO2 divided by uh, 0 0.21. Let's say they're on room air. So we get a PF ratio of about 429. And this is a normal PF ratio. And so the lower the number is going to be more severe. So they have a more severe respiratory status or uh, they're going into ARDS, acute respiratory dist distress syndrome, if they have a lower number. So about less than 300 is mild ARDS, less than 200 is moderate. And then anything below 100 uh, PF ratio is severe ARDS. And so this is the most severe respiratory status. So the lower the number, the worse, the higher, the better. And so let's go ahead and do another example. Let's say their uh, PaO2 is below normal, so 70, divided by, let's say they're on 60% oxygen, so 0 0.6. And this is going to be 117. So their PF ratio is 117 with these values, and this is going to be classified as moderate ARDS. And so the lower the PF ratio, the more severe their status is.